everyone, welcome to Low Carb 360. Today's recipe is for low carb broccoli slaw stir fry. So before I begin, I just wanted to remind you that you can join the Facebook page. The link will be in the description box. Also, if you like stir fry, give this recipe a thumbs up. Alright guys, let's begin. So for this recipe, you will need one pound of ground beef, toasted sesame seeds, I have some ginger, minced garlic, crushed red pepper, I have sesame oil, brown rice vinegar, that's zero carb, zero calorie, some chicken broth, salt and pepper to taste, I also have some soy sauce, green onions, half of an onion, and of course you need the broccoli slaw. Okay, so the first step is we're going to add the ground beef to the pan. And I'm going to mince this up. And we're going to um, cook this for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been about three minutes since the meat has been cooking. And as you can see, it's all nicely minced. Uh, what I'm going to do, um, I don't know if you guys can see all that fat. I'm just going to go ahead and drain that off. And um, then I'm going to add the garlic and onions and season this meat a little okay, bit. Okay, so the meat is nicely brown and it's nicely minced. I'm just going to go ahead and add the onions and the garlic. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in. This will add nice flavor to the meat. Now I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And this you want to do to taste. Okay, so um, one thing you want to remember also is when you're adding salt to the meat, just add very little because the soy sauce um, in the broccoli sauce stir fry is going to also have salt in it. So just add a little bit of salt to the beef just to give the beef a little flavor, um, but not too much. Okay, I'm going to, this is just about done. I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to light up the wok. And then we'll make the broccoli slaw. Okay, so I'm just going to make um, this sauce. And the way I do that is I just take the soy sauce. I add the ginger. Then I add the brown rice vinegar. And I add the um, red pepper flakes. Very simple. And I'm going to mix this together. And then we'll add this to the stir fry. So let's make that stir fry. Okay, so our wok is nice and hot. I'm going to add the soy sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and add the broccoli sauce. Now I'm going to stir fry this for about a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken broth. Mix that in. That'll cook for another um, minute or so, and I'll be back. So it's time for me to add the ground beef. Mix that in. It's a very easy dish, I said before, like I said before. And um, it's really a great dish if you want to take it to work with you and just pop it in the microwave and heat it up. And it tastes even better the next day. So it's something you can refrigerate for another time. Leftovers are delicious. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add that sauce that we made earlier. Okay, that sizzle. Yep. This is going to be good. Alright, that looks good. So I'll let this stir fry in another couple of minutes. And I'll be back with the finished product. This is the final step. Um, I usually just add this, this product here, and this really kicks it up a, a level. It really, really adds to the flavor. If you don't like a lot of spicy food, then don't add it. But um, if you do, like I do, I just add a little bit to this and mix it right in. And that really kicks it up another level. It gives it that added kick. And it really complements this dish. Okay, now our dish is done. 
the broccoli sauce fry is done. What I do here is I just add some green onions to top it off. And then I add a little bit of toasted sesame seeds to the top. If you're on induction, just leave it out. And that's it. That's our dish today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make this one. It's delicious. And the website will have the recipe. It's lowcarb360.com. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.